Hello and welcome back to Saitai Tech. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make this really interesting glowing candle that uses only a few simple components. The main component that drives the circuit is an ATtiny 85 microcontroller, and I'm going to show you how to make this in this video. Let's get started. <laughs> These are the items you're going to need to make for this project. The items you're going to need is this candle. As you can see, it's a used candle, so it gives it more of a realistic effect. You're going to need a perf board, three LEDs, two yellows, and one red, a push button lock switch, a three volt button cell battery. Three volt button cell battery holder, an 8 pin IC socket holder, and of course the ATtiny 85 microcontroller. Okay, so now let's go ahead and assemble this circuit and let's get started. The first thing you need to do is take your candle and you're going to need to carve out the bottom to form a cavity. And it should look just like this. I'm going to take my lighter and I'm going to go ahead and melt the wax in the inside. The reason for doing that is to make it nice and smooth inside which will then disperse the LED light better. And it should look just like that. Now let's start with the circuit. I have my perf board and my 8 pin IC socket holder. Connect them two together and solder the pins into place. And it should look just like that. Next, you're going to need to take your push button lock switch and connect that to pin 8, which is VCC of the circuit. Solder it into place and solder the pin from the switch to pin 8 of the IC socket holder. Bridge it together just like this. Next, I want to solder the LEDs into place. I want to solder the LEDs on the opposite side of the board where I have all of the anodes facing the PMW pins, which is pin 5, 6, and 7. And I want to place one yellow, then the red in the middle, then the other yellow next to it. So it's going to be yellow, red, yellow. Now I'm going to go ahead and solder it into place. Solder just one pin, so then that way I can adjust the LEDs by pushing them and remelt the solder. Now solder the other legs into place once you've done that. And it should look just like this. Cut off the leads. Next thing I want to do is I want to recycle these leads so then that way I can be able to connect these LEDs to these pins from the other side by putting the lead connecting through the hole, comes out of the hole, and it connects to these leads over here. So I have to modify these to fit. And I'm going to go ahead and do that by taking my pliers and bend those leads into a hook shape, just like that. And take the hook over just like this and place it onto the perf board where the anodes connect to the hook and the hook connects to the pins where the LEDs need to go to, which is pin 5, 6, and 7. There we go, just like that. Solder it into place. And then bridge it together. There you go, bridge just like that. And now, what you need to do is bend the leads over just like this to the pin of where the LED needs to go to, which is pin 5, 6, and 7. Bridge it together just like that. All of the LEDs are now connected to the ET Tiny, and it should look just like this.
Next, I want to take my button cell battery holder and place it onto the perf board just like this, where I have the positive of the button cell battery facing towards the switch. Solder, them both, into solder both the pins into place. Next, what I want to do is take this negative wire and connect the negative part of the button cell battery to pin 4. And it should look just like that. Next, I'm going to take this wire here and also solder it to the negative part of the button cell battery holder. And I want to connect those to all of the cathodes of the LEDs. Solder it into place just like this. Bend the wire. Put it through the hole just like this. And as you can see, by removing the insulation on that wire, it will allow me to bridge all three of the cathodes of the LEDs. Now I'm gonna go ahead and bend the wire into place just like this. Make sure the wire touches all of the cathodes of the LEDs and then solder bridge it all together. So that way all of the cathodes of the LEDs are grounded. Just like that. And as you can see, all the cathode of the LEDs are grounded and it should look just like this. Next, I'm gonna take this positive wire and solder it to the positive part of the button cell battery and solder it to the switch just like this and it should look just like that all soldered into place next thing I need to do is put the button cell battery into place and put the AT tiny into place and there you have it the circuit is now complete let's go ahead and turn it on and test it out and there, it works successfully. Next, I want to take my circuit and place it inside of the candle. I want the LEDs to be facing the inside of the candle, so that way it'll make the candle glow much better. Place it in firmly like this, and as you can see, it lights up. Now I'm going to get my hot glue and glue the circuit into the candle, just like this. And there you have it. Your project is now complete. Now let's go ahead and test it out. And there, the candle is working. Now let's see what it looks like in the dark. Okay, so now let's go ahead and put the candle in the dark. Press the button, and there, it works. And there you have it. Now you know how to make an electronic candle with using just a few electrical components and using an AT Tiny to control the circuit. The code in the, is in the description below. And there you have it. Thank you for watching SciTitech. I hope you learned something new. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and of course, click on the bell icon to be notified for future SciTitech videos. Till the next tech, goodbye.